Hello everyone, this is going to be a very quick how-to video. Um, so you have a MacBook, uh, it can be a MacBook Pro, MacBook Normal, MacBook Air, and you wanted to install Windows on it, so you use Bootcamp, uh, that's great, that's fine, you go through the whole process of Bootcamp, and then you boot into Windows, and you install the Windows um, Bootcamp Assistant, or whatever it's called, they have all the drivers for all the stuff, um, and supposedly everything is working fine. You can use your function keys to with the with a function button on the Mac to do the the stuff. You can do uh, volume up, volume down. That works great. Uh, what doesn't work is uh, some keys on your keyboard. Mine specifically is Portuguese, and uh, some keys are not properly uh, mapped. Uh, so how the hell do you fix that? Well, you can look up online and you will find several tools saying that there are key mappers and stuff and you download them and you try them and it tries to uh, work into the registry, tries to save values into the registry and supposedly when Windows is booting up, it will check the registry and do the mappings. Well, on Windows 10 it doesn't work like that. So if you just uh, installed Windows 10 or you suffered an update on Windows 10, it will clean up all that uh, stuff and it will bring you a um, clean new Windows system where your keyboard mappings don't work properly. So how to fix that? I spent a few hours looking up on the internet and here is the best way to fix that. I download something called the Microsoft Keyboard Layout Creator. It's on this link right here. Just download it. Latest version is 1.4. This is December 2016. And uh, so you launch it. I think it's already launched here, here, and it looks something like this. And you can see if I press the, the key up here close to the escape, it will trigger this key here. This is what's wrong on my keyboard map. And if I press the other one, this one, it will notice that it will be popping up that one there, which is wrong. And it was driving me mad because I'm a programmer and I need my uh, lower than and higher than to do all stuff all kinds of stuff so how do you fix this anyways you create a new uh, you have a keyboard layout creator you load an existing keyboard which is the closest one you can get on my case it was uh, portuguese uh, apple version but okay and here you have the mappings and you see that these two keys are wrong so what you're going to do is you hit that key and you press the correct one or the wrong one actually so it thinks that it's that one uh, you do okay and you do the same for the shift with the shift then you do the other way around this one without the shift this one okay now you have your properly when you hit this key it's saying that it's that one but that's fine I mean, I'm hitting the key next to shift. You can't see it on the video, but that's what I'm doing. I'm hitting the key next to the shift, and uh, it's thinking that it's that one. That's fine. I don't give a damn. As long as it prints the correct key, uh, I'm okay with that. So, uh, how do you save this now? I'm going to just uh, hit a few other keys to make sure that they're right, like the C with a little asterisk is correct, the comma is correct, dot is correct, the minus is correct. Everything else seems to be correct, except for these two keys. Uh, okay, so I'm happy with the changes that I made. Now what I need to do, I need to um, save source file as, so you have uh, the source of this, and it will ask you to change stuff. You can name it layout1 or something, and then you give it a custom name, custom layout. Um, since it's based on Portuguese Apple, I will leave this here, and you choose the language that you want, although it doesn't really matter just for stuff you click OK and it asks you where you want to save uh, your file this is great for safekeeping for later but this is not how you install it uh, when you are done saving this if you want to this file is useful if you want to do changes later on you can load from that file and change it but if you want to deploy the changes that you just made you have to go to project build DLL and setup package which I will do right now it's verifying you can see here, it gives me some errors, oh my god, there's a character that doesn't exist, and you change these other two? Yeah, of course I changed, they were wrong. Uh, do you want to open this directory? Yes. And it opens the directory, and it has the installer here. So you just execute the setup, 
you go through the whole setup process and then this keyboard will start showing up on your system. So this is how you do it to activate it. You go here to the language preferences and then you select the language. I have two installed, it doesn't matter, but you need to probably change on both of them. Then you edit the options and you add a new keyboard. I already have it here, it's called Portuguese Apple Custom. Uh, I used to have the other one, which was the Portuguese. If I can find it again. I used to have the this one, I added the custom one, and then I deleted this other one. And you want to delete it because it will, uh, by default, go for the first one. So uh, that will suck because it will never go to the keyboard that you actually are adding. Uh, so once you are done with this, do this for both languages, same keyboard, just different language, um, then you have to restart your computer. If you don't restart your computer, Windows will not notice that uh, the, the keyboard has the new mapping. So you need to restart it, don't test it before, uh, before that, uh, don't remember to, you know, restart. I won't do it now because otherwise the video would uh, go dead, but you have to do it. Um, and yeah, and afterwards uh, you can try the keys and they now work, which is a miracle. So yeah, I just wanted to write this little how-to video and uh, share it with the world so I can remember myself in like two years time when Windows does another update and I don't know how the hell to fix this again. This is how you do it. Bye-bye.